Today I am going to solve one equation of state problem by using Penn Robinson equation. Here is the problem uh, or you can say question. So that is use the Penn Robinson equation of state determine the molar volume V of ethane 50 degree centigrade and 15 bar. For ethane Tc is 30.5.3 and K means uh, 305.3 Kelvin and PC is 48.408 atm and omega is the eccentric factor. Now here is that Peng Robinson equation. So P is nothing but this RT V minus V minus A by V into V plus B plus B V minus B. So P is that pressure at atm, V is molar volume liter per gram mole. T is temperature at Kelvin, R is the universal gas constant that is 0 0.08206 atm liter gram mole Kelvin, then A V is Penn Robinson constant. Then here that A is nothing but 0 0.45724 R square T C square P C alpha. So for alpha we need alpha that equation is given 1 plus m into 1 minus t r to the power 0.5 r to the power whole square so for this we need m so m is nothing but 0 0.37464 plus 1.54226 omega minus 0 0.269922 omega square and then b b is nothing but 0 0.07780 rtc by pc and omega is 0 0.1 now these equations are given now we have to calculate one by one so t is is given 50 degree centigrade if we, if we convert so that is to 323.15 Kelvin P is 115 bar so if I uh, if I convert bar to ATM so that is 15 into 0 0.9869 ATM and TC is given that is 305.3 Kelvin TR is nothing but T by TC T is 323.15 TC is 3053.3 so that TR is nothing but 1.058 PC is already given so that is 48.08 atm and R is given so that that is 0 0.08206 atm liter by mole Kelvin. Now first uh, we have to calculate A so for that we need to calculate alpha so alpha is not alpha so if when we going to al uh, calculate alpha so we need M so here M correlation is given so omega we know 0 0.1 after plugging that value so we get that a m is nothing but 0 0.5262 0 0.5262 and then after getting m we can calculate alpha alpha is nothing but 1 plus uh, this m value is required 0 0.5262 and after plugging all this so we will get 1.004 and then we can calculate a so again so you can use this formula for a so we have all this so we can easily calculate a, a is nothing but 5.9715 then b b again we can uh, use this formula and then we can plug all this value we will get b is nothing but 0 0.0405 now we have to calculate v ideal so rt by p pv is equal to rt so that is v ideal is 1.7913 so we have to need that um, to calculate that uh, v for uh, uh, Robin from Robin's Peng Robinson equation. Now here is that um, that uh, we we are going to calculate graphical method. So here so uh, we have to calculate v. So now this is a nonlinear equation. Now if I write in the functional form f v. So p minus r t v minus v plus a by v into v plus b plus b b v minus b. We can use numerical technique or we can use graphical method. So using graphical method we can easily find out what will be the root of this equation so that root will be the v. Now here for that we have to choose some points ok so obviously so I am taking so v ideal is the actual point. Now we are taking some uh, that from deviate from this minus 1 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 so we take this value this value and uh, also the v ideal is here and plus this value and this value now we are checking f v so here sign convent sign change is very important because if sign is not changing so we have to change the that that value okay so here i am saying that that v ideal minus 0 0.2 means 1.5913 so that one is negative and for this value that f v is positive means root actually lies between 
in between positive and negative value so that's why we need um, positive and negative okay so we can take as many as points so that so that we can get good plots so now plot v versus fb using many points but if the fb value so here that fb value must change the sign and the intersection of x axis will be the solution means solution of that v now here i am taking different many points means i am taking different v and i am plotting so this is the curve and here is the intersection in intersection point so this intersection point is 1.590 so that is actually that the solution that v is 1.59 liter per mole okay so now we find that molar volume is nothing but 1.5975 liter per mole that's it thank you